Welcome back to Blue Exorcist Anime Review Special Number Six. This time, reviewing the 170th manga SSC 2317. Chapter starts off exactly where the last chapter left off, where you see Shira again basically blasted by whatever thing he's hit with. Probably gets possessed by Satan. Yeah, so he says he I say I say he says he loves loves her. That he is in love. A monster knows how to steal and never be human. So get lost. And he's like, she's like, Shiro. And then a member of the Gregory showed up along with Mephisto. Yes, yeah, so Mephisto is here. Oh, in case you're wondering, uh, Rand is nowhere in this chapter. I mean, I, I look prior to reading this. Uh, for this review, he's nowhere in this chapter. And they're all just standing around her. And then, yeah, we have this uh, Gregoria show up. And she basically comes with the stupid idea of taking her into custody. Yep. Despite the fact she actually did nothing wrong, it was all Satan's fault. And then Shira's like, what? Wait. Why are you interfering? She's not to blame. This is about blame. This was simple, ne ne simple ne ne necessary. Ugh. You were in the presence of the Gregory. Now stand aside. No. I won't let you do this. So he draws his gun. He's like, point a gun at Gregory. What are you doing? Yeah, the Gregory are a bunch of idiots. I'm like, how about you? You hear King Stan? Uh, he's like, I won't let you die. Don't move. This is treachery. Open the door with this key. Come on, you want to see all of it, right? And of course, the, one of the guards like apologizes. It's like, it's like, huh, how's your stuff now? Besides, you doesn't have long. So basically, they go out traveling out the throughout the building. Of course, babies are crying. So he decides to name him. Of course, he went to go get some warm clothes for her, and he's like, "What are you doing? Breastfeeding? Babies under the gown? Seriously? In that case, she he wore. I decided these for them. Oh, the one that burst out in blue, afraid one burst out in flames like a Ricka. So his name is Ren. But the guy's with him was like, "That's straightforward, huh? How straightforward?" And the smaller one, Yokito, after the, uh, like the uh, Yokito. Uh, hey, that's, why? Rin is in bed, why name Yokito? She's goofing around. Yep, I think that she basically kind of named her second son after herself. Yeah. Basically, so they go, they go outside, the blizzard out, so they go, he's like, oh, I feel better now. I like to focus on walking. Yep. So they walk and it's like she's like she basically started making a fugitive. Actually, I feel better. I always wanted to be free of that place. I would have done it sooner. This time, let's really live together. I'll be the father and you be the mother. Will you find me? Yes, that'd be nice. He's like Yuri. He's like something fun week. You're like okay, sounds good. So give some piggyback rag. Gives basically a flashback to her childhood. Shiro, you can be their father, how we see fit. And someday you'll be their real father. So it'll be all fine. As long as you're around. And then Yuri dies. Yep. Though, basically, she, he says, tells the brothers to be good to each other. <coughs> Excuse me. Like a Shira, and then Shira basically confesses to her. Yep, ever since they first met, he always been in love with her. Kisses her. Though she's already dead. Hear me? No, she's gone. Oh my gosh, she's laughing. And then she, she just basically screams. Like, why did I do this? And then he takes the babies. He's about to do something with the babies, and then all of a sudden a demon shows up. Actually, it's a yeti. Yeti up here. So he gets blasted away. Die here. And then he basically collapses. He's like laying there in the snow, and that's where the chapter ends. Really good chapter. And I give this chapter fully a 9 out of 10. It's a really good chapter. It finally progresses past the birth of Rin and Yukito, which I'm glad with that because they've been stuck on this for about 10 chapters now. They finally moved past it. So, yeah, we're finally going to get past it and hopefully go back to the present. Excuse me. Surprisingly, Rin did not make appearance this chapter. He did it in last chapter, but not this one for some reason. Who knows?
Okay, so that's it for this particular review. Stay tuned for my Comic Corn, which I'll do next. Okay, please see you next view. Bye.